Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care Ministry. Welcome to the Lord's Care Ministry, the first work day, or pardon me, the fifth work day of the week. The day that our calendar says is a Thursday, one of the old pagan gods. It's also 621 of 2012. Well, brethren, with that done, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to search for knowledge and truth, day 173 of the year 2012. It's also the first full day of summer. That's why you see the hot background in back of me. Today's little study is the ministry of the inner life. The ministry of the inner life. Again, brethren, as I always say, write the chapter and verses down that we give you so that you can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. You can also use the pause button down here in the corner, brethren, to start and stop this video study as we go along so that you'll be able to open up your own Bible, read chapter and verses right along with us. Well, with that, let's get right into the ministry of the inner life. And to do that, we're going to go to 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. You are a royal priesthood. By what right have we become a royal priesthood? It is by the right of the atonement by the cross or the stake of Christ that this has been accomplished. Are we prepared to purposely disregard ourselves and launch into the priestly work of prayer? The continual inner searching we do in the effort to see if we are what we ought to be generates a self-centered, sickly type of Christianity, not the vigorous and simple life of a child of God. Until we get into this right and proper relationship with God, it is simply a case of our hanging on by the skin of our teeth. Although we say, what a wonderful victory we have, yet there is nothing at all that which indicates the miracle of redemption. Launch out in reckless unrestrained belief that the redemption is complete. Then do not worry anymore about yourself, but begin to do as Jesus Christ had said, in essence, pray for the friend who, who comes to you at midnight. Pray for the saints of God and pray for all men. Pray with the realization that you are perfect only in Christ Jesus, not on the basement basis of this argument. Oh Lord, I have done my best. Please hear me now. How long is it going to take God to free us from the unhealthy habit of thinking only about ourselves? We must get to the point of being sick to death of ourselves until there is no longer any surprise at anything God might tell us about ourselves. We cannot reach and understand the depths of our own meagerness. There is only one place where we are right with God, and that is in Christ Jesus. Once we are there, we have to pour out our lives for all. We are worth in this ministry of the inner life. My heart is worry, O oh Lord. The strain of life and cruel hatred of the world and the failure of human love have left me desolate. I fall at your feet. Do not be silent. 
at least I go down into the pit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20 we read, Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Hath not God made the foolish the wisdom of this world? Jesus, my only hope. In 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 1, Jesus Christ, who is our hope. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. As I said at the beginning, this is the fifth day of the week. The you still have a chance to go and worship the Lord your, your way. Change from that first day of the week worship to what the Lord commands us on the seventh day of the week. That is the only day he sanctified for worship. Go to Genesis chapter 2 verses 2 and 3 and find the word rest and resting. That's where we the Hebrew word is Sabbath, and that's where we get our Sabbath. And continue to read, and you will find that this seventh day is the only day he sanctified, that is, set apart and made holy. The first day throughout the Bible, you will find is a work day. You'll find that throughout the New Testament, that it's a work day. The tradition of men have changed that day to the first day of the week. That's Satan day. I don't say that. Your Bible says that. Brethren, if you want to see the kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and the Son, get down on your knees and repent. Repent from following the tradition of men. And ask the Father and the Son to bring their spirit within you to drive away all doubt. Strengthen your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And while you're on your knees, brethren, ask the Father for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter that he sent to you. And that love letter is in your whole Bible from the end of Genesis to the Amen of Revelation. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, even though it's going to be 110 or 12 or whatever. Email me at 473 at cox.net or check into my webpage at www.fcg82.com backslash h2.htm. Thank you.